Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you. Moving on to volume of cones in this video, part of section T in IXL's eighth grade math. Four examples for you. They would get progressively tougher, like I try to do, as always, when I pick examples. All right, so volume of a cone. We talked about volume of cylinders and prisms being the area of the base um, times the height of the prism. A cone is actually a third of a cylinder. So there's our formula. One third of the area of the base times the height of the prism. But a cone is always going to have a circular base. So we could just say one third pi r squared, that's the area of a circle, times h. So that's the formula we'll use for every example here in this. All right, here we go. One third, we're going to use 3.14 for pi. The radius here is 5, so 5 squared, which is 25, times the height, which is 9. And at this point, I'm just going to jump straight to the calculator and let the scientific calculator do the work. Um, it's just a bunch of multiplication, so let's do one third times 3.14 times 5 squared, which I know is 25, so I'll just type in 25 times 9, 235.5. 235.5 cubic millimeters. So the area of the base would be in square millimeters, that would be the red part, and then that 9 is millimeters, so square millimeters times cubic millimeters, or times millimeters would be cubic millimeters, but IXL puts that in there for you. Anyhow, we just got to come up with the numbers. All right, let's do this again. Volume equals one-third the area of the base, which is pi r squared, times the height of the prism. So in this skill, we're using 3.14 for pi. Our radius is right there. It's 2, half of the diameter. All right, so don't be fooled by that, although 2 squared is the same as 4 anyway. So in this one, it wouldn't particularly hurt you. Um, times the height of the prism, or not prism, I'm sorry, height of the cone, which is 5. All right, let's punch this into the calculator. One third times 3.14 times 2 squared, which is 4, times 5. It was 20.93 when we round to the nearest hundredth. 20.93. And that is cubic centimeters. All right, now we are given the volume in this one, and we got to work backwards to figure out what the height is. All right, volume equals one third pi r squared h. That's what we're trying to figure out that h. So our volume right there. 3,371.02236 equals one third times 3.14 times 14.1 squared because our radius is 14.1 times h. All right. So let's simplify the right side a little bit here. Let's do one third times 3.14 times 14.1 squared. And that gives us 208.0878. 208.0878.
times h. On the left, we haven't done anything, so I'll just rewrite this number as long as, and annoying as it is. All right, and now I just have to divide both sides by that 208.0878 to get the height by itself. All right, so 3371.02236 divided by 208.0878. And that is 16.2. 16.2 is the height of this cone. 16.2 millimeters. Millimeters. Okay, and I've got one more that's like that, and this time we've got a missing radius that we've got to find. Okay, volume equals pi r squared h. Nope, I'm sorry, one-third pi r squared h. One-third the volume of a cylinder. We're given the volume again. It's this huge number. So 40,653.7056 equals one third times 3.14 times the radius squared times the height, which is 37. So again, we need to simplify the right side. So I'm going to do one third of 3.14 times 37. That's our height. And that gives me, oh boy, uh, we're going to use the calculator here to kind of hold that number in for us, but we'll round it when we write it down. We'll show in our work. So 30, about 38.73. r squared, the left, nothing's changed. All right, let's divide both sides by 38.73 um, to get r squared by itself. But watch how I do this on the calculator. I'm going to do, what was that number? Oh yeah, it's right there, 40,653. 0.7056 divided by, and I'm going to do my previous answer. So it types it in exactly, no rounding. It's 1049.76. And then I need to take the square root of both sides to get r by itself. So I'll do the square root again of my previous answer, and it comes up to 32.4. So 32.4 centimeters, that's the length of the radius of this cone. All right, first two were pretty easy, just figure out the volume. Second one's way to work backwards to find um, the missing dimension. Good luck, and let me know how it goes.